Hey, Thomas Allen with North American Fishermen. We're on Leech Lake. It's late season. It's March. Going to see temps in the upper 50s today and tomorrow. It's kind of the last hurrah. And you want to be out here. You want to make the most of your time. You want to catch fish. You want to catch them fast. And fortunately, this is the time of year where bluegills and crappies are on a pretty aggressive bite. And uh, this is the time where I like to pull out plastic baits, such as Dave's wedgies that are scented with uh, an anise smell, which is very similar uh, to black licorice. But the reason that you use plastics this time of year is it's quick. You get a lot of fish that are swarming your bait at the bottom around your sonar. Uh, you want to get that back down there in a hurry. You don't want to have to worry about rebaiting, getting away from that bite, because it does happen fast. Um, in fact, I've got fish showing up on the sonar as we speak here, and they're, they're kind of just swarming around the bait. And the whole point is, is you want to catch as many as possible, because ice is melting, so you want to be as effective as possible, and that's all about speed. So this time of year, I'm going to choose a plastic that has good action, it's subtle, uh, it undulates under the water, you just got to give it a little bit of motion. And the second thing I'll tell you with plastics is don't leave them sit. If you let them sit there and you have fish looking at them, chances are they're going to figure it out and move on. So I like to raise it a little bit. You got a mark show up under your bait, keep lifting, lifting, lifting until that fish commits, eats it, you bring it up. Throw them back in or in the bucket if you're going to take them home. Drop your bait back down there for round two. So just a thought, late season is a great time for plastics. I'm kind of finicky and don't like worms, so that's my excuse.